I'll be demonstrating how to work the butterfly stitch. The butterfly stitch is a novelty stitch, sometimes referred to as a bow tie. When it's worked in a solid yarn, as in my fluttered footy here, they really do look like butterflies. When done in multiple colors, the butterfly stitch, which is here, will give this nice little diamond effect or quilted look to our knitting. Butterfly stitches can be of any size. They're an odd number, usually three or five stitches wide. This example, they are three stitches wide. Here they are completed here. But no matter what your pattern says, they are always worked by having stacks of yarn that had been slipped with the yarn held on the right side of the work. And typically it's three strands. So I have already done rows that I've done two slipped rows. So um, this is for flat knitting. So on my wrong side of my work, turn that over here. I am going to purl my first stitch. And then my pattern asked me to slip with yarn in back. So I'll move my yarn to the back of my work or it's being held on the right side here. Slip three, two, three. And then I'm gonna take my yarn that was held back and bring it back to the front because I'm gonna purl my next three stitches. Making sure that, I'll turn this over, that that strand isn't pulled too tightly. It's just kind of laying across those three stitches. And then I'll purl the next three. Slip three with the yarn held. If I were working this circularly, of course we don't have any wrong side to purl on, so I would just be slipping with my yarn held in front. I want to bring yarn to the back, slip three. On this last stack, I wanted to show you what would happen if it asked you to slip three and then knit. This would be on the wrong side. So I'd slip the three, and because my yarn is already in the knit position, when I go ahead and would knit this stitch, or however many would come after, if your pattern indicated, you could just leave your yarn there, and my strand will come across those three stitches. So let's turn it back to the right side. And here we go. You can see we have nice three strands here, just what we need to make our butterfly. So how we make a butterfly, whether it's over three or five, whatever your pattern would call for, is we are going to work our way to this center stitch. So these would be the three that we kept slipping. We're gonna work our way to the center stitch, and that's where we'll be making our butterfly. So on this side, right here, I am going to go ahead and knit one, knit two, to get to the center stitch there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my right hand needle and going from bottom to top, I'm going to actually go under all three of those strands. So under one, two, and three strands. So you can see they're laying on top of my right hand needle. And I'm gonna go into that first stitch and I will knit it. So when I draw through my loop, I'm gonna take this loop and exit the same way, or reversing my steps. So I'm in, under those three strands, so I'm gonna go from top to bottom, coming out where I went in, and now I can remove that stitch from the left-hand needle. That's a butterfly. So let's go ahead and knit one, two, three, four, five, brings me to the center of my next, where I need to make my next butterfly stitch. So here are my three strands. I'm gonna enter from bottom to top, going under all three strands, knit that next stitch, and bring my loop that I'm drawing through, that yarn right there, back down through those three strands under them from top to bottom. 
exit out the bottom, and now take that stitch off. Let's try that one more time. Knit to the center of the next stitch. Here are my three strands, under from bottom to top. To that stitch, knit it. Draw that yarn through from top to bottom and then take the stitch off the left hand needle. And that's the butterfly stitch. Happy knitting!